Mosquito some days will carry you away in the summertime. Weeds grow tall and crickets and frogs sing lullabies. The whole town sleeps all day in the heat of the summer sun. We'll sit on the bank and watch the river run. We're just getting warmed up here. Should we try a little way? No, you gotta get the banjo. Let's do something else. Yeah. What should we do? Uh, I don't really have anything in mind. Um, brothers in time. You wanna do that one? That's in G. Okay, this is the title track to my CD. Brothers in time. And you can get this at GeneButterfield.com. Or you could buy one today and who plays a little bit of banjo and you 
going to lead you personally along Guess what? Banjo Dan. Banjo Dan, sorry. Banjo Dan plays uh, banjo and yeah. guitar on this CD. Banjo Dan is a guy in Vermont. He ain't sorry. me. Sorry. <laughs> Banjo. B-A-N-J-E-R. Banjo. So, yeah. This is one I wrote about two trees that are growing up at near the old Strawberry Music Festival in Camp Mather. And it's an oak tree and a cedar tree. And the oak tree grows into the cedar tree and they continue to grow together. So it was very inspiring. And uh, you'll see. strength and harmony trees, they are brothers in time. Tall trees, they are brothers in time. Thank you so much. All right. Nice, nice mandolin work. Beautiful. Try uh, Dragon by the Road on the man. It's in C. And then we'll switch to banjo and do a little wave. Say, okay, we're doing songs from my CD tonight. And this is called Dragon by the Road. It's kind of odd, well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's about that tree. Yeah, another tree. You know, I'm a, I'm a nature lover. I can't help it. So there's this tree on Highway 41 between Fresno and Yosemite. And it got struck by lightning or broke down. Anyway, it broke and... Um, it's been there for many, many years, and I've watched it since I was a child, and it always looked like a dragon to me. So when I drove by there one day about 10 years ago, this song came to me while I was driving, and I was on my way to the dentist, Madeira, when, when, uh, whatever. Gene, when Gene got me to play this song, <coughs> not this song, excuse me, but on her record, I remember uh, we had to go up, not to North Fork. Yeah. It was the North Fork where the recording studio was. And um, I drove past that tree. And I remember I, I thought, that must be the tree because I had heard the song. I, I did not plan this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Jimmy Kimmel. 
Yeah, or it's yeah. real short. It's the yeah. Looks like the short one of a dragon is yeah. in the back. It used to be a 22 mile house. It used to be a bar, kind of roadhouse, kind of place. Uh, he, but but now it's a uh, Valero. You know, no more bar. You know, you can't drink and drive so much anymore like you used to be able to. So. <laughs> sound great. Good to have you back me up all the time on these songs. All it takes is money. What's that? All it takes is money, right, yeah. Got to get the I'm big paying gigs. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm good for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you once have a child or something? <laughs> did you just have a child? Yeah. I wonder. I'm retired. You can afford to play for free. I said, yeah. I've said this many times, you know, you get into the music business because you don't want to work for a living, and then you spend the rest of your life chasing work. Yeah. You have to buy $5,000 worth of equipment, drive five hours to make 50 bucks. Right, and a, and a car to cost you $300. <laughs> and sometimes you don't make it to the gig because the car costs $300. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> My problem is not having enough time to play music because I work too much. I got to find that balance, and I haven't found it yet. I'm working on it. Okay, we're in G. 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 Where are you from? Little ways. Oh, it's an A. 
sorry. I just play it too often. I forgot where I'm at. So I play it with me. Okay, this is also from my CD called Brothers in Time, and this song is Little Waves, um, random acts of kindness, just like little waves will be lapping up on the shore, or the little waves going through the lake touch somebody else. And it's funny because I hear on TV, this is like the, the season of random acts of kindness. Well, I put it on my CD because it's every day. It's not just December when you care about people. You do it all the time. Yeah. So, right. yeah, so that's why we're going to play this Little Waves. It can be a flower, a smile that is true, touch on the shoulder, or a caring hug for you. Water flows in little waves. extra pay for the kind things that we do understanding one's own can understand you water flows in little waves how i love to see them they remind me of the little things we do random acts of kindness flow to me and you sweet sage at my camp door That is some indication, yes. Thank you so much. All of you hundreds of people out there. Here and on the net, yay. Woohoo! Right on the internet, don't forget. We know you're watching, folks. If you are actually out there on the internet watching, it has been known to happen. And if you are there, prove it to us right now. Call 805-461-1393. We take song requests and um, and Gene here. Looks great on TV, so you should uh, <laughs> definitely call and and see what kind of, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> let, us, let, us know what, uh, let us know what you would like her to do. Anything from my CD? Yeah, you can. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. You can, you can see what we're wearing. Tell us what you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching too much of that 70s show, I think. Yeah. You got something else to do? I was thinking of um, uh, Homestead. This is a one, four, five, and this the one about, um, that's not the one about the wolves. It's no. It's the one that, I, I know I've heard of this. I've heard all your songs. Like, so I play a lead on this. Yeah. Gene's a hell of a guitar player, too. Wait till you hear this. Oh, yeah. Not to make you nervous. Let's just, let's just uh, hope it all works out. Because yeah. my fingers do the walking. Ooh. <laughs> 
Okay, this is this is a, a little story about where my mom was born, Homestead, up in Northern California. This will be the title track to my next CD when that comes out in um, sometime. Go to my website, jeanbutterfield.com, and it's the uh, the package. The picture is there for that CD. It's not out yet, but the other one you can get right now, Brothers in Time, and then home, Homestead pretty soon. Here goes. Couldn't come inside like an icy morn. Twins were born one spring morn. The daddy built the crib for two. He was put at the end of their bed. But they were warm and safe from the cold. It was a homestead where mama was born. It was a homestead her daddy built. Life on the farm. Wow, banjos rock. Well, the longer you live, the more people you're going to see die. And the longer you live, the more tears you're going to cry. Well, the longer you live, the more you're going to feel sorrow and pain. So you might as well accept it, or else it just might drive you insane. That's right, sir. Well, the longer you live, the more people gonna break your heart. And the longer you live, the more your body and your mind fall apart. Well, the longer you live, the more life
likely that you're gonna get hurt. And the longer you live, that's just the sooner you'll be under the dirt. Oh, everybody dance now. Hop right up on the table and go for it. that you have to make Insane laughter from you guys. You can do that for me. And you can also echo this verse, okay? Go to the chief. Well, the longer you live, the more people you're gonna see die. And the longer you live, the more tears you're gonna cry. Well, the longer you live, the more you're gonna feel heartache and pain. So you might as well accept it, or else it just might drive you insane. Yeah, you might as well accept it, or else it just might drive you insane. Yeah, you better just accept it, or else it just might drive you insane. Wow, banjos rock. Thank you, friends. Good night.
everybody. Do you want to do one more song and we'll call it a night? Okay. Yeah, it does sound, or we'll play as many as you want to play, but I think this will be it. We'll we'll be done when you leave. Oh, well, you know, you're not going to be playing some more? Well, if you guys don't want me to, I'll play more. We'll sit, we'll sit and listen. Okay, well. How about, would you like to try my new song? This is in that key. Mona Wayne. Yeah, this is a, a brand new song that I wrote. Um, it's the Mono Indian story up near, up near Bass Lake, Auberry, Yosemite area. We have these winds, and um, they're pretty strong. They're kind of like the Santa Ana winds, but they're up north, and they come from the east, and they blow over, and they blow trees down in all directions, and they blow people over, and um, it's pretty amazing. And um, so... I wrote this this song with the story of of what the monos said that the song was. Let's see, I do that one in Toronto. Let me let me do this part by myself because nobody knows this yet. It's a warning before the wind. He sings a song. See why, see why they call the wind. Sib it to qua. Indians known as known, also known as Mono. See why, see why, they call the wind. Sibitiquah. He comes out to purify and clean the air. He gets rid of dead things. Cedar bark house everywhere. They have firewood where 
the dead trees once stood And he takes our acorn meal once again He takes care of us, we take care of him It's a warning for the wind. He sings a song. See why, yeah, see why, yeah, they call the wind. Sibit to quote. Thank you. Okay, Banter Dan, thank you so much for having us. You're and Tom, right here at Last Stage West. This is wonderful. And we had a fabulous dinner tonight. Everybody come out for ribs, and his cooking is the best. So, yay, this yay. is Gene Butterfield, yeah. friends. Yeah. Thank you. And the Big Bear. And Big Bear on the bass. Thank you, thank you. Hey, that's an alliteration. Big Bear on the bass. Big Bear on the bass. Alliteration? <laughs> Whatever you say. Literally. Literally, yeah. He's going to follow me, folks. No, no, come on. Let's, uh, let's jam a little bit. We'll do the, the five-round special as the Blues and Green comes in. Five-round special? Yep. Okay. Not the break down. Okay. Well, welcome, no, new folks. Is that a real pickup in your banker? It sure is. How's it going? I don't like it much, but it, it right. does work. We're just kind of at Blues and Green. <laughs> I had to tune my banjo to play in that strange key. I had to make it a little change. <laughs> yep, that's the one.
Not bad for having never, never, ever, ever jammed together before. It's all relative. It's all relative. It's all relative? You mean relative. like, like relevant? Relevant. Relevant. Okay. It's all relative. That's like love in West Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Ever heard the uh, the freight train boogie? Yes. Okay, so it's got that little extra beat in the uh, verses, right? It's all one until there, okay? okay. Right. But the solos are just pretty much a straight ahead rockabilly like this. E. Jones was a mighty man, now he's resting in the promised land. The only music he could understand was the big eight wheeler under his command. He made the freight train boogie all the time. Made the freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Made the freight train boogie all the time. Made the freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Started ringing the bell, everybody on the round could tell. Casey Jones was coming to town on a big eight wheel of those burning the ground. He made the freight train boogie all the time. Made the freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Made the freight train boogie all the time. Made the freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Pick it, buddy. Wake up the people all along the line. Laura had the man made the whistle whine. Said to the fireman, better hold your seat. Gonna make this engine do a boogie beat. Made the freight train boogie all the time. He made the freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Made the freight train boogie all the time. Made the freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Casey Jones was a mighty man, now he's resting in the promised land. The only music he could understand was the five-string banjo under his command. Made the freight train boogie all the time. Made the freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Made the freight train boogie all the time. Stops. Made the freight train boogie as he rolled down the line. Oh. How about it for the big bear there, folks? You four in the corner don't realize it, but we have never played music together before this very evening. Yeah, that, was cool. and that was great. He came here with my friend Gene, and yeah. you met, you just caught the end of the jam. <laughs> but since you all are here, I will keep picking for you, because that's what I do. Oh, look! Yeah. A new car! Oh, <laughs> that's the key to my scion, my young friend. Well, you know, there's this old joke that I rewrote. Gene, you probably know this old joke. How do you make a million dollars playing the banjo? Start with two million, right? Let's try that again. How do you make a million dollars playing the banjo? Okay, now I wrote that. I rewrote that one. How do you make a million dollars playing the banjo? B. Bela Fleck. 
If you guys don't know about Bela Fleck, the joke, oh, he does. He gets it. Bela Fleck has been nominated for more Grammys and more categories than any other musician in the history of the Grammys. And he's a banjo player. And he married Abigail Washburn. Er. And I saw her first, by the way. I know he did, but I, I did see... I honestly did see her first. They do. But at least I have the satisfaction. I heard that record, and it's not his best album. Ha! <laughs> but it's still a damn good record. And anything that, that those two put out is going to be, including their child, is going to be amazing. Can't wait to hear what Juno composes. Can you imagine? His father is Bela Fleck. His mother is Abigail Washburn. He's being raised in a home full of stringed instruments and pianos and music everywhere. Watch, he's gonna he's gonna become a cop. <laughs> That'll be his, his like revenge, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, the thing if it, is, he, if he wants to rebel and get a wind instrument, you know, Bailey can just call Jeff Coffin and um, Paul McCandless from Oregon and say, "Oh, do you want to learn?" I saw Bela in like uh, I guess it was the year two thousand or two thousand one at the High Sierra Music Festival. And he had this guy whose name I can never remember. Guy played jazz bassoon. And I, y folks, you've never heard someone rip on the bassoon the way this guy was going. And they were doing this improvisation that just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And just as about the, the moment my brain was going to explode with like how good this guy was on the bassoon, he flipped a switch and suddenly he kicked a MIDI interface into it. And <laughs> just went right out into the stratosphere. I was like, D is he now playing like like car horns and, and train engines? It was unbelievable. I love Bela and the Fleck family. But why don't I play some uh, bluegrass music now that I've been ranting about that, right? Boy, you like a lot of monitor, don't you? I'm not used to that much power. Of course, I was married, so of course I'm used to not having power. <laughs> you know, but <clears throat> when I was just a young squirt, I got some really good advice. I'm going to pass this, this advice on to the young guy in the corner over here. Yes, you young man. I got some really excellent advice when I was just a young slip of a, of a kid. And this older fellow, he said to me, he said, youngster, he said, find yourself a woman who likes to laugh because laughter bonds a couple very well. He says, he said, find yourself a woman who loves to cook because food is the staff of life. He said, find a woman who likes to clean and keep house because that kind of orderliness helps the home function. He said, find a woman who likes, let's just say the uh, physical aspects of love, the kid, the, uh, all that stuff. He said, because, well, no, if you're married, it ain't fornication, but anyway, yeah. So he said, you know, the, the cuddling, all that stuff. And he said, oh, and also find a woman who's really good with finances because that helps run the whole household if she's good with the budget. And then he said, so once you've met these five women, you've got to keep them away from each other. <laughs> so there you go. I stole that one shamelessly. But I did write the Bela Fleck joke. So I'll play some bluegrass music in case you, you young folks here haven't never heard what actual real live bluegrass music a la Bill Monroe sounds like. Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys. in the days of my childhood in the evening when everything was still I used to sit and listen to the foxhounds with my dad in them old Kentucky hills I'm on my way back to the old home that road winds on up the hill but there is no light in the window that shined long ago where I lived Soon my childhood days were over, and I had to leave my old home. 
Mother and dad have gone to heaven, and I'm left in this world all alone. I'm on my way back to the old home, that road winds on up the hill. But there is no light in the window, that shined long ago where I live. hills of old Kentucky stands the fondest spot in my memory. I'm on my way back to the old home, that light in the window I long to see. I'm on my way back to the old home, that road winds on up the hill. But there is no light in the window, that shine long ago where I live, that shine long ago where 